Peeps, vlog time, day seven. Okay, this one is from Jennifer. Jennifer, Jennifer. Okay, before I get started, it's a good thing I leave them in the box because these would be all gone by now. Mm. That makes me feel better already. <laughs> okay, day seven. Got a, a, star, a star there. Woohoo! Okay, day seven. Feels like a mask. Yay! Ooh, and it's clay. How cool is that? Purifying facial mask with red clay. This is, uh, I don't think this is a drying one, but. Unfold and place it on your clean face for 20 minutes. Okay, we have to find a pen to write on here. Let's see if I can do that. Jennifer, because when I actually get around to Mask Monday again, I will have forgotten who it's from. It's just how it is. End of story. Thank you, Jennifer. I don't think I've been very good about saying thank you. I, I love these. Um, in case you didn't know, this is a collab with A Day with Jennifer and Kettle's Kitchen. Links in the description. Go check them out, please. Um, okay, on to some trivia. Day seven. Trivia. Was that day seven? Snap. Yes, day seven. <laughs> People consider pink and red the colors of love. According to the National Confectioners Association, around 65% of Americans believe that the packaging of Valentine's Day candies and chocolates should be red or pink. I personally truly believe they should be pink. Just going to say. Okay, the heart shape wasn't always a romantic symbol. The heart was once widely believed to be human center of memory, where feelings of love were recorded. However, we have French and Italian artists from the 14th century to thank for the symbol that we now know as love today, as they were the first ones to start using this motif as their work. Cool. Didn't know that. Is that a TMI? Is this TMI? I'm just curious. Okay. Peeps, I hope this finds you amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time.